Hello class, here I'm going to give you a quick crash course on how to do a PowerPoint slideshow. What I'm going to show you how to do is first this title slide as you can see right here. It has just the title of the PowerPoint and an exploded view of the design. It's your standard exploded view here. I'm going to use a caster assembly which you may have modeled in a previous course. And then the second page is going to have that same exploded view, but also a list of the different components that are in the assembly. With the list of components, they're going to be animated into the PowerPoint slide as you click or press the spacebar on your keyboard. And at the same time, as you move between the different components, the previous component is going to fade out. And then I've also provided a third slide here, which is an optional configuration of how you can arrange the different component names. Here I've used text bubbles to actually point to the different components in the exploded view of the assembly so that it's very clear which component is what. But this third configuration, this is just optional. All right, let's get started. I'm going to start with a new PowerPoint slide show a new PowerPoint slideshow here with this new PowerPoint slideshow I have the default settings where the background is is white and I have a title text box and a subtitle text box what I want to do first is change the slide background to black a very easy way to do that is to go to the design tab in the my in the Microsoft PowerPoint ribbon and just change the theme to a design that has the background as black. So the office theme has a background of black so I can click on that one and it automatically changes my text to white as well. I get some design ideas so I'm just going to exit out of those because I don't need them. I also don't need this subtitle box. I mean I could put my name there if I wanted to but it's not necessary. We're just doing a simple design overview presentation Hopefully, my colleagues know who I am. And then I'm going to type caster assembly overview. I'm going to make this title text bold and italicized and resize it so that I can fit it on the middle left. And then to bring the picture in, I've, give, I've given you the exploded view of the picture, so all you have to do is copy and paste the picture into the PowerPoint slideshow. So I'm going to go to Canvas where I've placed the picture. I believe I placed that in the Design Overview Presentation Assignment. There it is. I'll right-click, Copy Image, go back to my slideshow, and Paste Picture. You see how you have three different paste options. The one that works best is paste picture because we're pasting a picture. And I get some design ideas, but I'm going to exit out of that. And I can move the picture around however I want, just like we can do in Microsoft Word. Thank goodness Microsoft PowerPoint and Microsoft Word are made by the same people. It has a lot of the same functionality, so a lot of this is going to be review for you, just in a different modality. I can move the picture and center it in the middle of the slide. You see that red dotted line? That indicates that my picture object is centered in the middle horizontally on the PowerPoint slide. And there's our first slide. Easy peasy, right? Now let's move on to, this, to the second slide. And to do that, I'm just going to copy and paste this slide because I'm going to use a lot of the same elements from this slide in my second slide. To do that, I can right click on the slide in the slide thumbnails area to the left of your PowerPoint presentation. Right click on the first slide and then go down to duplicate slide. It's just going to create an exact duplicate of the slide. We'll switch to that slide and move some things around by left click holding along the border. So I'm going to move the picture to the left and then move the title to the top right. I'm going to de delete the word overview, shrink this up a bit, 
bring the text down to maybe 36 and then keep it up here in the in the top right and then I'm gonna click on the text box and then copy and then paste not as picture but as De as destination theme because we're going to type some new things in this text box. I can drag the text box down so that it has more space and then be begin typing the components for my caster assembly which is the wheel, the shaft, the bushing, the retaining ring, the bracket, and the post. I can highlight all this text, make it bigger, because this is the meat of my, pow of my PowerPoint slide that I want the audience to focus on. So I, de I definitely want this bigger than the title, because I'm going to have my audience's eyes following my content. This is what I want them to focus on. Re remember that the PowerPoint slides, they're not our presentation. They are a supplement to our presentation. We are the presentation. So we're, we're, we're just using the PowerPoint slides to help navigate the audience through the different topics that we're taking them through. So I'm going to make my content bigger. My slide, my slide header, that's just an add, that's just an add on to my slide. It, 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 it's not what I want my audience to focus on. I'm going to highlight all this text. I'm going to go to the animations tab like we learned in our previous lecture video and I'm going to give it the animation of appear which we can click on from the graphics menu on the animations tab. It's a little star that has the expression of appear. So just click on that. That's going to uh, apply an appear animation to all of this text and notice the numerical values in the orangish reddish boxes that appear to the left of each of the text notice that they all say one that's a problem for us because we want them to appear on click in different clicks not all at once if I leave it as it is it, if I do a preview of my slideshow presentation all of the text appears at once and that's a problem we want each word to appear with each click so how we're going to do that is go to the animations tab if you're not already on it. Open up the an animations pane, which is kind of top right-ish of, of the Microsoft ribbon. That opens up a pane to the right of your PowerPoint slide presentation. And then what you're going to do is you are going to click to the right of each word that is listed in the animation pane and you are going to click the down arrow and say start on click instead of start with previous and you will see the numbers begin to change instead of saying just one they are going to say two three four five and six now if we do a preview of our slideshow with each click or with each hit of the spacebar the word appears now to add the fading out that, ha that, that happens with each previous word as we click through the different components. Shift, left click, wheel, and then bracket. You, you can also control click each of these different words, one through five, so that they are all highlighted. And then right click on one of your selections and then go to effect options. This is where we can add a dimming of the text as we go through the animations. Right now you can see that the, so the selection box for after animation is defaulted to don't dim. We're going to change that to a specific color. And what we want is kind of a dark gray to take attention away from the text. So we'll go to more colors and then choose this dark gray right around here. Say OK, OK. And if we do a preview from the current slide now, we should have what we want. Woo, that's beautiful. There we go. If you want to get retaining ring on the same line, you can expand your box a little bit. But that is the gist. That is a quick PowerPoint presentation. We can do it within five minutes. There we go.